Hey everybody, it's Brian from Prison Social Network again. Uh, I'm on the Ex-Con Cody show as a guest. And, you know, I wanted to thank Cody for all the opportunities. Sorry about the delays, man, but life is busy out here. I work a lot, um, you know, do a lot of side projects, interviews, talks, and stuff like that. So, I mean, you know what? I appreciate these opportunities. Sorry about the delay. Forget all that. It's not about me. It's about this next topic, okay? It's about prison violence, okay? And it really amazes me how people just just ignore prison violence, okay? Everybody thinks that, you know, the best of everybody on the inside, and, and honestly, I try to because I know that anybody can be redeemed and change if they want to, but overall, prison is a violent place, and it's always going to be. So what can you expect, you know, when one goes to prison? Well, I can honestly say this. You better damn sure learn how to fight. And you better learn how to protect yourself. You may not have to be a boxer. You may not have to be an MMA guy or whatever. But the bottom line is, you know, you're going to fight. And that doesn't mean you have to stab somebody. That doesn't mean that you have to, you know, jump somebody or whatever. But, I mean, even though you're going to see that all the time in prison. I mean, and, and the thing about prison is you never know when it's going to happen. Look, I've been in the chow hall one time. Uh, the dinner hall, mess hall, whatever people want to call it. And, you know, two guys in front of me, next thing I know, you know, this guy comes up and, and, and just stabs the shit out of this dude. I mean, and he did not stop. I'm, I, I was sitting there like, oh, shit. You know, like, look, I can handle myself. And I've been fighting since I was five, you know. But, but when you start seeing, you know, a dude get stabbed or... You know, you start seeing, you know, some of the things that you see in prison, guys getting jumped by five or six guys, you know, it makes you pause a little bit and makes you realize where the F you're at. And, you know, you better do that because if you don't, you know, you may get late in the process. A lot of people always tell me that and, and it's kind of funny. Everybody's like, dude, you're so clean cut and, 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 you know, and man, you don't look like you were in prison. Look, I mean... I got tattoos, I got the resume, I put my work in, you know, in prison, but I mean, you know, it, as far as that goes, I'm glad that that part is over with in my life, man, because, you know, it is so easy to get wrapped up in that stuff. Don't mess around with the wrong people, don't owe people, don't do drugs, don't, you know, run your mouth. That's the number one thing in prison that, that incites prison violence is somebody is always running their fucking mouth, man. And it drives me crazy, man. My, my advice to people would be, hey, zip your mouth or you're going to get effed up. And that's what's going to happen, man, if you keep running your mouth. I've seen atrocious things and, and, you know, I'll spare a lot of people the details. I mean, I've seen a dude take a header off the top tier boom, head just goes, I mean, it's, and I don't even like talking about it, but, you know, it, it's an important topic to talk about. People getting into fights, people getting stabbed, I've seen people die. Um, man, it gets emotional, dude, sometimes thinking about it, because your mind, it's like, I'm free now, you know, and you try not to think about that, but it will always affect you, the things that you see. And, Here's one thing about prison violence, people. Everybody wants to be a hero. Everybody wants to jump in. Oh, you know, I'm going to save this. No, nah, man, you stay away from whatever is going on because especially with gang members and stuff like that, you know, you could be next. And that's the thing about prison, man, is you never know what is going to happen next. You always have to keep your guard up. You always have to be aware. And, you know, honestly, it's a good skill to pick up out here because, you know, uh, you know, my wife and, and other people always say, man, you're always looking around and you're always aware and, and, and you know, you're always, you know, looking out of, of, you know, what's going on. Well, you have to. I mean, look, if you don't walk both sides, you know, look both sides of the uh, uh, street before you cross it, you could get hit. And that's the same way with prison. You never know when it's coming. You never know, you know, who's going to be involved. You know, you could just be watching and, and have somebody stab the hell out of you because they don't want any witness. I don't know. But, you know, 
prison violence is real. I post about it sometimes on Twitter. You know, I tell people all the time, like, let's not ignore the fact that this is a violent culture. You've got the worst of the worst. And you know what, man? You've got some people in there who just made some mistakes. They made some bad choices. They're not criminally minded. Me, I was a criminal. You know, that's what I was, but I changed my mindset. Uh, frankly, I deserve to do time, you know, but once you go there and see all this crazy shit that goes on, I mean, man, it is insane. Okay. You know, and you know, my advice is, you know, like I said, shut your mouth, don't gamble, don't owe people, stop being nosy. Like people out here, everybody wants to know what everybody's doing and, and tell the world about it and stuff that doesn't go on in prison. If you do, you're going to get effed up and you know what that means. So, you know, the bottom line is what can be done about it? Absolutely nothing. You can contain it. You can change as a person, but violence is always going to occur. Imagine this, folks, okay? You're dealing with a thousand different personalities, some 3,000, 5,000, depending on the inmate population. You're dealing with all these personalities on a daily basis. I've seen a dude one time, look, his mother had passed, you know, bless this dude, man, but he couldn't take it anymore. He just, he lost it. Well, you know, the first guy who came across his path, you know, and ran his mouth, didn't know the situation between him and his mom. Next thing you know, man, this dude's stabbing the shit out of this dude, man, about seven, eight times. And by the time the guards got there, it was too late, man. And he ended up running up his time, ended up getting another 15, 20 year, whatever he got, but I never saw him again. So is prison violence real? Yeah. People, this is not the movies. This is, you know, those are actors. Those are actresses. Those are people, man. These are, you know, uh, you know, it's not realistic, man. And I get so tired of people saying, you know, think, well, in the movies, well, yeah, magnify that by a thousand because everything that goes on in the movies is happening there. Okay. So look, is it serious? Of course it is. You know, but the bottom line is you better step up, okay? Look, a little quick story because I know that I'm running out of time. When I first came to prison, okay, and I'm kind of clean cut, but I'm, I'm a, you know, I'm not a small guy. And I, you know, I got some tats and stuff like that, but I know how to throw down. I've been doing it since I was a young age. Well, this one guy approaches me and is like, yeah, man, you know what? Uh, hey, newbie. And I've been in trouble before, so I wasn't new to the game, you know, and I was like, look, dude, you know, I don't know you, don't talk to me like that, you know, whatever. Oh, man, you soft ass, boom, and, and man, that was it. I dropped his ass because you don't have the opportunity, you know, to sit there and talk and, you know, well, this is what happened. I mean, I boom, cold cocked him, hit him right on the chin, knocked him down, jumped on top of him, bip, 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 you know, and, and just, you know, you cannot hesitate because if you hesitate, people are going to say, oh, man, that dude's all talk and he's not going to do anything anyways. And you don't want to be in that position. Look, oh, by the way, in prison, you don't have to win every fight, okay? You All that you have to do is stand up for yourself, and a lot of people aren't willing to do that. You need to stand up. You need to sit there and say, look, man, I'm not a punk. You're not going to punk me out. You're not going to, you know, uh, uh, think I'm a bitch. You're not going to, you know, sit there and take advantage of me, period. And that is going to set the tone for your time how you handle situations and it's serious, man. You know, I see a lot of these so-called experts on YouTube and, you know, Oh, I was doing hard time, dude. You were at a drug rehab prison and you know who I'm talking about. You know, like I know this dude and I'm like, you're fake. You're, you're leading people on. You're, you're trying to get, you know, ratings or whatever, man, but you haven't been to the real deal. And a lot of people haven't. And if you've been to the real deal and you know who you are out there, you know exactly what the fuck I'm talking about. It's no joke. So guess what the final message is before I sign off here? Don't go to fucking prison. That's the fucking key, people. Don't go to prison. Don't break the law. It is not worth it on any level. I blogged about that recently. It's just not worth it on any level. Especially if you can't handle yourself. If you can't handle yourself... You damn sure don't want to go to prison because you're going to face a mountain of problems that you cannot solve. So look, we could talk about this forever and, and tell war stories and, and go on and on and on because believe me, there are you know a million stories to tell. But 
that's just the you know a brief synopsis of of, of what is going on in in prison man as far as prison violence don't be fooled it's real it happens all the time you hear other people talk about it but the bottom line is like this that's the topic of the day cody i appreciate it again sorry about the delay but you know what this is an important topic and there's going to be plenty more to come so i appreciate everybody for watching uh my buddy cody man he's a really good dude and he's got a good heart and i'm glad to be a part of this okay everybody take care